Hi, welcome. The topic of this video is how to install Arch Linux B Awesome. So this is our BIOS setup and not the UFI. In UFI, you need to go to the first line and select that one. But here we can choose the lines we like, but most of the time people will just take number one and it will work. You burn your USB with Etcher. I think that's the best um, answer you can give anyone. It's being on Windows, being on uh, Linux or Mac, Etcher will always work. This is new and that's why we make these videos. We'll add them to the articlinuxb.com articles. This is a new look. Suddenly we're booting in the awesome itself, right? We have here the workspaces uh, up here. We can click it. We have a right mouse click. We have an awesome keyboard, well, a menu, right mouse click, right? And a right mouse click, it's gone again. And we have this welcome screen. And we have a con key that's there to help you with the keyboard shortcuts. But I'm there as well. So this video is how to navigate inside your awesome thing here and install awesome because this is still the live USB. Even if it doesn't say anywhere, it is, right? We have this run gparted and run calamaris. If you see these two buttons, you're in the live USB. So run gparted would be my first choice indeed to activate that one and um, clean everything out. So if there are partitions up here somewhere, you select them, you throw them in, it says up here, delete the selected partition and then finally you apply it, apply all operations and then it's gone. But then the application you want to have is behind it. What's important to know is that we have, we need to know keyboard shortcuts, super, shift, Q, or an A because Azerti and Querti, you know, and super Q, super A are the buttons you need to remember. So, so to Q for quit, but remember if Azerti and Querti is an issue, then try an A. Super Q, super A, right? Sorry, I'm in plasma here. <laughs> now let's see. It's an A in my case, right? I have an Azerti keyboard and all that. So it's important for you to know. You need to kill that thing. I was wondering maybe you can do that as well here, right? Okay, so that will be uh, easy as well. The next thing you do is a run calamaris, but you see here the, the super shift Q is in here as well, right? Super shift Q and the super Q, both of them work. Next thing is run calamaris. Do check out this little thing. Uh, we've explained that in the Arcanlix um, installation, Arcanlix D installation. See what conflicts with each other because you can select either this one or this one, either this one or this one, and the same goes for all the others. So killing this one does not have an exit, so Super Q, or Super A in my case, is gonna work. Run Calamaris, let's go for it. So we have a big screen, why? Because this is a tiling window manager, it says tile, and with a Ctrl T, it's gonna tile in two pieces, right? So that's what tiling is all about. We don't want to have it floating all the time, because then keep to desktops. This is a tiling window manager. Super A, killing that one again. We go over the installations, uh, installation of Calamaris, and let's have a quick look at the version. So I'm dragging this, by the way, with super and left mouse click. You can drag this in a way when, where you wanna have. And then, okay, that's gonna close. Next. And then it's the same um, story all over again from the film or the video of um, Arco Linux or Arco Linux D, right? You get to choose what you need. You need the Linux kernels, Nvidia kernels, maybe for the CPU, the, the, the microcode. So decide what to take. We have four kernels to decide from. So that's great. Next, communication software, the things you'd like. You may maybe like to Skype to somebody or uh, install Teams for work environments and uh, the team viewer is working out of the box. Uh, so many delicious things. Uh, WhatsApp is here, Zoom is here. So you decide what to install. Next. Maybe you're a student and wants to do, develop a little bit or code a little bit. Here are some, well, tools to code. Now, remember this one and that one provide the same 
um, files, so the Microsoft stuff and the open source stuff, they will collide, of course, they will crash. Well, not crash, everything's gonna work fine if you select them both, but you know already this either or this one or this one, and it will only install one of them. Calamaris will just keep on working. Here as well, you either install the stable one or the unstable, no, the beta version, the latest version. That's how they call it, right? Still and stable. And some other choices, all up to you to decide what you take. Multimedia, a long bunch of the stuff, interesting things, things you've never seen, try them out. It's awesome, it's all coming for free to you. Internet, all kind of software you like to have as internet devices. This means that if you choose Calamares to be in Japanese, your Firefox will be in Japanese. And a few screens back, your LibreOffice will also be in Japanese. Theming. Lots of choices. Some of them conflict. This guy and this guy, they provide the same service, the same cursors. You, Pac-Man says no, cannot do, just one of them, right? But that's it, basically. Again, Calamars will not crash if you do. Games, select anything you like. If you want to um, do some chess here, Knights is great, but don't forget GNU, GNU chess, so that's the artificial intelligence that's behind it. That's an interesting choice. And other stuff are here, Minecraft launchers here, and other fun stuff. Mind you, some of these guys are big. Sour, Brad, and Exonautic are uh, one gigabyte each but fun to play, of course. Utilities, all kinds of stuff. Had fun with Google Earth Pro, zooming into whatever, wherever I wanted to go, previous places where I went on vacation and so on. Lots of stuff in here. Synapse is again conflicting with uh, Catfish, so beware. If it's not installed, you know why. Catfish is up here. Next, fun stuff here as well. Cheese, maybe you're wondering what it is. Just try it out, you'll see. And look at yourself. File manager, lots of them. Why not take another one? Why not take Nemo, the one for Linux Mint, right? On, I don't know, on Plasma. Doesn't matter. It's your choice. Git applications, graphic stuff, privacy stuff was new as well, password managers. You take a look. Mind you again here, VirtualBox, if you want to install that, depending on the kernel you choose, right? If you've chosen Linux kernel, you take that one, otherwise Linux LTS. And this is for, for us if we develop and we only need this to work. We need to browse, we need to type, we need to take images, look up something, file manager and talk to each other. And that's basically it. So that's easy for us to just click go to the last screen actually and just click this thing. That's the only thing we select if we want to develop. Living in Brussels, yep, that's cool enough. Copenhagen, Budapest, you choose where you live. Normally it finds itself, but sometimes the server of KDEs is down and then you have to select manually. Next, erase disk, choose what you want. Three options plus Encrypt, so six options, they all work, that's fine. You choose what you want to have. Or a manual partition where you're gonna divide things into more partitions than what Calamaris here suggests. You can have a look what it means here in the colors. Still on VirtualBox, so keeping everything as is. Full name, no, don't need my full name. And then Article Linux. B. The B stands for building, guys. Actually, I know um, not everybody is ready to build, right? So that's okay. Then you download Dark Moves B ISOs, burn it on a USB, Etcher is your tool, and then boot up and uh, do your thing with it. But basically, the selection we make for applications are never gonna satisfy, never gonna be the correct selections for everybody. So the B stands for 
choose your own applications and then build it. And then you have your own personal ISO. That's the goal of Arclinx B. But if you're not ready to build yet, then you just download them. In the meantime, let me show, show you an image that I don't forget to show you this. In this particular version of Calamars, we have to uh, remind you that this image is benign. It's good. It's actually the message. Everything is installed. It says installation failed, but it's actually installed. It's the very, very end. Calamaris wants to unmount something. And maybe you take a look and, and see what it is to unmount hard disk in Linux. Actually, everything is done and it wants to kick it out. And it can't, and it crashes. But everything is installed. That's the message I want to give you. And it's said that this particular error is no longer available in the next Calamaris. Remember, it's a free installer. Uh, we are really into it. We, we try to help uh, develop it a little bit better, some suggestions and so on. And Adrian, one of the developers, is really helping us out all the time. So Calamaris is, is great, but sometimes we have to help it a little bit. Now, this is something maybe I should um, tell you in the sense that we have now this application running, but maybe you've clicked it away and you said, okay, I'm gonna first have a look and try this thing out. And then you decide, I want to start Calamaris. Where do I start now Calamaris? Well, let's get rid of this or, or maybe not. Maybe check it out first and then get rid of it. So you know what the key, what the key bindings are, but I know them by heart with a super C that the thing is gone. I, it always annoys me that it's there, but it's there for you guys in the beginning, right? Now, with a control T, you have a terminal and it's actually your XVT that is here. And to relaunch Calamaris, you have to remember the word PK execute, execute Calamaris. That's it. That's the best thing I can tell you in the tiling when I manage this easy, right? It's Calamaris, we've said it, we've used the word enough. Um, think about uh, food if you want, <laughs> um, but execute me that with a, um, well, big, with this particular command, which is going to make you root. And everything will be just fine. It will launch just the way I've launched it, because behind the little button there says execute. So no error unmounting yet, but uh, may come at some point in time. It's around five to 10% of the time that it happens on 200 installations, something like it. So it's okay. We boot up in the existing OS, we've installed it. So this is a virtual box. I need to take that particular line. It's not, um, did not eject my USB yet or ISO. And you'll boot into awesome. And then it's up to you guys, right? Then this is your real system. You want to auto start it or not, so that's gone. Next time you won't see it anymore. To kill it, super Q, super A, remember, depending on the Azerti Querti thing. This guy is super C and that's gone as well. Super C and you get another conky. That's another conky, right? The standard conky we use. The first one was to greet you. All right, um, the rest is up to you guys. Um, that's, uh, you can find more and more tutorials. Let's do a Control Alt F, let's end with that. No, that's the wrong button. I should be in my virtual box, Control Alt F. That's gonna launch Firefox. And what I would suggest now is that you go to arclinuxd.com. And in here, you'll have all the faces. You wanna learn for about XFC, you wanna learn about Openbox i3, phase three. Aha, awesome. Here are all the awesome articles. Then you go and have a look what we can, how we can help you, how you can you help yourself, right? This thing you see, conkeys are not meant to be, to be used actually on these systems. So super C, I just put them on there when I need to. And this is your, awesome environment to figure out. All right, cheers.